So you never told me what your musical was about, and congratulations on finishing it. See, you never thought that you would, and here you are already starting auditions. Yeah. <laughs> so what's it about? You know, girl meets boy, that kind of thing. Yeah, which girl? What boy? I think it's going to have to depend on casting. Isn't that your sister? Because I'm the bad daughter, remember? I know you love it at Warwick Zane. You could still go there, just, just maybe as a day student. You know what, hang on. That's my other line. Let me get rid of it. Sorry. Your mom's a popular gal. Fine. Don't take my calls. Uh, I'm gonna leave message number five, I think. I read Raising Zane today, and I loved it. And I want you to come work for me. Um, I'm gonna sweeten the deal. I want to top off my last offer with a hundred grand. Oh, well, you don't remember what my last offer was. Well, I guess you're gonna have to call me back. Why do I want you to come back home to live? Because I love you. I miss you. I need to head over to the high school. Mm -hmm. um, they want me to sign some papers for Star. If you see Langston, would you ask her to call me? I keep leaving her messages. Of course, she texts me back. I should be glad that she's alive and well. But really, I'd like to hear her voice, see her face. She is, after all, my daughter. Oh, she certainly is. And what is that supposed to mean? It means she's in way over her head. And fade out. Are you done? Yeah, this treatment's gonna rock Ford's world. <laughs> Ford? Since when you try to impress him? Like, we're not buddies or anything, but he does know what he's talking about. Uh, At least enough to know that he could never dream of anything half as serious as what I got here. Showing the man up. That's right. By any means possible. Okay. Project. I've been looking at the thing so long, I can't even see it anymore. Okay, sure. You'll see, Christian. All you need is a little stroll down memory lane, and you'll remember why we need to be together. Hey. Thank you. 